Hey guys, Dan here with Everreal, showing off 242 South Broadway in Tico, Washington. The last stop of the John Wayne Trail. And school's in session here in Tico. They are doing in-classroom teaching. Uh, so this house has just been updated. Uh, fresh new exterior paint actually has pan around the outside. It is on a corner a lot. Has some nice views of the wheat fields and mountains in the background. Uh, and we'll show you that through the windows on the inside. Uh, from the exterior, if you notice here, we have new sidewalks. Uh, the city just put in, town just put in new sidewalks, so that's real nice. Uh, it takes you right into the side entrance. So there is a mother-in-law suite, or you could use this house as a duplex. So, I want to show you a couple things uh, pay attention to with the, the rehab here in this house. First of all, steps have been redone, and if you look up, you will notice the tongue and groove accents on the porch. And I will say, it's a nice porch. Nice and spacious, pretty cool just sitting out here, uh, enjoying the view and the, and the town. Uh, really kind of a cool little rural town here outside of Spokane. Uh, really in the 40 minutes from uh, Spokane Valley. I, I, I drove over to Perry Street Brewing from this house. Uh, I think it took me 35 minutes to get there. So entering in the house, uh, new carpets throughout the main, actually throughout the entire house. We have a carpet and LPV here. Uh, got this nice new fan, all LED light fixtures installed. And this is just a big open living room area. Um, so you can use this living room as a uh, bonus room din. Same with uh, this, this room here. Uh, you can see that LED fixture and nice big windows, double pane vinyl, kind of throughout. There's a couple older windows, but most of them have been replaced with the double pane vinyl. Now I wanna, want you guys to see this kitchen because uh, the kitchen before it was just ridiculous and now it's awesome. Uh, so we have LPV flooring, uh, kind of that modern wood, uh, wood look, but real durable flooring, uh, waterproof as well and uh, the new shaker style cabinetry uh, throughout. Uh, one other thing in this, in this house is the cabinets, uh, you saw some of the glistening there, are quartz, or sorry, the countertops are quartz. Uh, so we didn't cheap out on the kitchen at all. Um, in, in fact, you'll notice that silent clothes. That is the silent clothes that everyone wants. We have it. Uh, stainless steel appliances, uh, you can see from the reflection of the sun, the, um, the backsplash. The backsplash is tile, so we have that tile backsplash. Uh, and it's got kind of its own little section of, that has the sink, dishwasher, and then that full countertop with the, the oven. So kitchen is definitely a selling point of this one. Um, if you walk through this hall, because of main floor amenities here, and uh, once I take you to the basement, I'll show you. It has a nice setup for a mother-in-law suite. Uh, pantry there, or uh, breakfast nook, whatever you want to use it for. A couple uh, built-ins here, some linen closets, and then on the back side is another cabinet uh, for linens or for your kitchen. Uh, so we are in the main floor bath. New everything. I'll say nice big vanity and mirror and a full tub, uh, full tub, so full bath here and I'm actually standing back in the laundry room. I'll swing around. The laundry room's attached to the bath and uh, plenty of space for doing your laundry. Got the hookups. All right, heading to, you can see that other cabinet I was talking about. And so this could be the master or the next bedroom, either way. Uh, they both have walk-in closets. This one would probably be the master, gets close to the bathroom, and it has the, the more picturesque walk-in closet. With, uh, we threw in a couple of new vinyl double pane windows, and they have a really kind of a cool view out here, uh, th pocket view through the fields in this walk-in closet, which is pretty big. Uh, into our second bedroom, good sized bedrooms, tall ceilings, and uh, I'll take you in the closet, it does have a light, 
turn that on. And there's some uh, kind of bonus storage under the stairway. Um, and that just takes you up through to the attic, which uh, I'll show you at the end. And that, that nice thing about the attic is it has um, plenty of space. Uh, it's unfinished, so if you want to update it, you want to add a bedroom, you have the opportunity. Something, something to do in the future. Okay. All right. We're in the basement. A little bit lower ceilings here, but made good use of uh, low. So these light fixtures are all LED, but they're very, like, they're very thin profile. So it actually makes these ceilings a lot taller. Um, we're in the basement. It's all finished down here, aside from one little spot. My camera's kind of wigging out here. And this is the uh, attached bath for the basement master. Just a three quarter, kind of basic, but uh, some nice updated fixtures and LPV flooring and natural light you can see from the egress. All right, and so yeah, I'm walking through. There's a door, there is a door here you can close. So kind of a Jack and Jill style bathroom and a good, good sized bedroom here. Got, it has a closet, it's got a little light there too. And uh, there's the daylight, it's a daylight basement, so you can see how that's the at grade entrance I showed you in the beginning of the video. And this second room is not technically a bedroom because it does not have a closet, but would make a great office. Or, you know, if you're cool with not having a closet, another second bedroom, fourth bedroom, I guess, total. So, um, okay, I'm going to show you lastly, uh, well, we're going to go up to the attic at the end, but we do have a second kitchen. Uh, it doesn't have the wiring for the for the stove, so you have to put that in. But it does have the plumbing. So we have the plumbing taken care of. Uh, kind of a basic kitchen, but hey, that's great. VRBO potential or mother-in-law suite. Not a problemo. Okay, heading in from the... This is kind of just the unfinished area. But it has your utilities. So we've got our strapped hot water, electric hot water tank. Um, storage, kind of storage here, and then swinging around, just additional storage, and then can't really see, there's not a lot of lighting, but that's just like your utilities, your electrical panels and things like that. Um, something unique if you did want to rent this out is there are multiple uh, electrical panels, so the electrical could be split up to make it a duplex again. But right now we've got it set up as a single family home. All right, heading back upstairs. I'll show you the attic real quick and then we'll we'll be done. If you guys wanna check this house out anytime, give us a call, 509-62-HOUSE. We'll show it to you, be happy to show it to you. All right, so we're on, back on the main floor. Open this door. Okay, heading up. This is a big house. It's sitting at around 2200, the way it is. And if you finish this attic, you can easily make add on another 400 square feet. So, uh, there's some, some skylights up here already. It's already pretty good lighting. That's kind of nice, just unfinished. But uh, nice big space, open space for uh, adding another bedroom or two. All right, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you're interested again, give us a call, 509-62-HOUSE. Be happy to show it to you. Thanks everyone, have a good day.